Yo, what's up guys? My name is Stonix Lance, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be discussing if Forza Horizon 4 is truly worth it. Now, let's talk about what we already know. You'll be able to drive over 450 different kinds of cars all across Britain and Scotland. Now, in-game, you'll be able to explore an open world filled with things to explore, such as wildlife, landmarks, scenery, and just so much more. You'll be able to live the Horizon life, which is a complete change from the previous Horizon games, whereas in the previous games, you basically were just there for a perfect summer. In Horizon 4, you basically live in the Horizon Festival. You'll be able to experience Forza Horizon 4 in four different seasons. The seasons will be changing every week for every single player that is playing the game. This does have some players worried though, and that is truly because if they want to do something in summer but it's winter, they have to wait for summer to come around again. Or if somebody wants to do something in winter and it's spring, then they have to wait another three weeks to be able to do something in winter. Now as far as I know, from what I've heard, you will be able to create your own events, and within those events that you create, you can kind of set it to your own season. So if you wanted to do a specific race in summer, but during that week it's set to winter, then you can easily just change the season within the race while you're creating it. Now let's get into the different additions that you can buy for Forza Horizon 4. First off, you have Standard, which is going to be $59.99 US dollars. Now this comes with the game itself, as well as the Forza Horizon 4 Formula Drift Car Pack, which also just recently came out for Forza Motorsport 7. Then you have the Deluxe Edition, which is $79.99, which obviously comes with the game itself, the Forza Horizon 4 Formula Drift Car Pack, and the Forza Horizon 4 Car Pass, which gives you access to all of the expansion car packs, so that way you don't have to buy extra DLC car packs, you'll just be able to automatically get them. And finally, the Ultimate Edition, which is $99.99, obviously the most expensive one, so obviously you'll be getting a lot more than the other editions, so obviously you'll be getting the game itself, the Forza Horizon 4 Formula Drift Car Pack, the Forza Horizon 4 Car Pass, as well as the Forza Horizon 4 Day 1 Car Pack, which gives you 10 new cars which haven't been announced yet, they should be announced later this summer, Forza Horizon 4 VIP, which gives you rewards that you can't get without the VIP. These rewards will include things as 3 exclusive Forza Edition cars, which if you don't know what Forza Edition cars are, they're basically Horizon Edition cars, the names were just changed to Forza Edition cars. You will also get a VIP Crown Flare, which I would imagine is something that your character could wear, as well as VIP Vanity Items, VIP Emotes, cars, car horns, a free house, two times the credits that you get from races, weekly bonus super wheel spins, which are brand new to Horizon. If you don't know what a super wheel spin is, it's basically a normal wheel spin, but you get three wheel spins all at once, so you get basically three times the prizes. You will also be able to get access to the two map expansions that will be released after Horizon 4 is released. Now, the first map expansion is supposed to come out in December of 2018, and then the second map expansion is supposed to be released in the first half of 2019. So if you do pre-order the Ultimate Edition, you'll basically get access to all these different packs that otherwise you would have to buy. But with this Ultimate Edition, you won't have to buy anything extra. Now, let's get into some gameplay. The map size will be very similar to Forza Horizon 3, as the, de as the, devel the developers have to basically render out four different versions of the same map every week, which makes which can be kind of a difficult chore for them. Speaking of which, our first look at the map for Forza Horizon 4 will be on Tuesday, July the 17th at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will also be live streaming my reaction to the map reveal, and I will be showing you guys new gameplay, maybe new upgrades, new customization that they're going to show off. So if you want to see that live, and you want to see my reaction to that, make sure to subscribe, make sure to have post notifications on if you're new around the channel. That way you'll know when I go live so you don't miss it. I'm probably going to start streaming around 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time, so just so you guys know when to be here, and just to be ready to know when I'm going to go live. So put that in your calendars, or you can join my Discord, link is down in the description, that way that way when I live stream, I will immediately post the link as soon as I start, that way you will not miss it in case you don't get a notification on YouTube. If you truly want to see the live stream, you'll get the notification on Discord, so I do highly suggest joining that if you could. Now moving on, we will also be getting things such as 30 new wide body kits most of those will be branded such as like Rocket Bunny and Liberty Walk wide body kits. They showed this off a little bit in the last live stream that they did where they showed off a new wide body that they had on the R32 GTR as well as a new wide body that they had on a McLaren which I think is pretty cool. They also showcased new wheel offset which is what we have been asking for. If you don't know what wheel offset is it's basically wheel spacers which will extend your wheels out so if you want that perfectly stanced car this is going to be absolutely amazing for you. And I know that's going to be amazing, because that's something I would. Which if you, if you come into my live streams all the time, you know, I do car shows in Forza Horizon, and the stance car shows in Forza Horizon 4 are going to be absolutely insane. There will also be new suspension types. As far as I've heard, there's going to be like a new rally suspension. There's definitely going to be a new drift suspension, but that's all I know. There could be more different kinds of suspension types, but we don't really know too much yet. As far as tuning and upgrades go, we don't really know too much more than what they've announced in the last live stream that they did not too long ago. A nice little touch that I noticed in their little live stream that they did 
good in game when you're going down the road and you're drifting or when you're trying to do some kind of burnout the marks that you leave on the road from your tire have actually been updated and they look so much better in my opinion it's just kind of a nice little touch and i think it makes it look so much better there are also many different kinds of trees which makes the map a little bit more realistic as you're driving through the different sceneries the different towns and everything also something else that's a little nerdy fact that they mentioned within their live stream is that each leaf is individually rendered which basically means that the shadows are going to look prettier and it's going to make it a lot smoother when you know the day is transitioning through from morning to night the shadows aren't going to be like going through like that the shadows are just going to be a smooth transition something else that i noticed is that the interior views of each car look much better than in previous games especially in horizon 3 now in horizon 3 they do look very very clean and very good but in my opinion from what i've seen from what we've seen in the live stream that they just did i think the interior view just looks so much nicer it looks so much more realistic and that's something that i think is super awesome speaking of interior views they added a new view when you're in the car you can see your dashboard they basically hid the steering wheel from the interior view that way if you have a wheel set up it'll be a little bit more realistic and I'm pretty sure they mentioned that this was added to every single car but I'm not completely sure on that you'll be able to purchase 12 different kinds of houses some of those will include castles so I think that's gonna be super awesome now we don't really know too much about customization with these houses or interiors of these houses we just know that you can buy them pretty much you'll also be able to upgrade your car and paint your car outside of your house instead of in a garage which I think will be pretty cool for painters they'll basically be able to see their car in the natural light which I think is gonna be kind of a cool thing also something that's completely different from the previous ones as I mentioned earlier instead of going to the horizon festival for a perfect summer you're living in the horizon life which basically means that you'll be able to get your house and while you're living in this horizon festival and you're just constantly living there you know you have to make it somewhat realistic and the developers realize this and they're like you know you're gonna need to get a job right they basically announced that you're gonna be able to get a job within the game and these jobs can include things such as a stunt driver delivering cars taking pictures of cars for like some kind of automotive magazine which i think is those jobs alone i know there's more than that but those jobs alone just sound absolutely amazing and i'm gonna have so much fun with that also one cool little feature that i thought was really cool according to ralph fulton who he's been the one who's been announcing all these cool little things about forza horizon 4 you can technically complete the game without even doing a race once and you can do that by live streaming to your favorite platforms such as youtube or twitch or mixer which i think is kind of a cool little addition so i'll have to see how that works out for me considering i live stream forza every single day for you guys now moving on to multiplayer it's completely different from every other game that they've ever done it's very similar to the crew too and i know there's been a lot of confusion fusion around how this works now it's 72 player lobbies and people have been saying that it's 72 player groups which isn't true you will only be able to see up to 12 people all at once so you cannot see up to 72 people all at once an easier way to think of it is there's a server that has six different groups of 12 players say you're in a group like me say i'm live streaming and you guys want to play with me and i have a full group there's 11 other people although there will still be 60 other people in the server that doesn't mean that we will be able to interact with them or we will be able to play with them or see them at all now if you're driving solo and you're driving around the map you'll basically Basically be dropped in and out of whoever's closest to you. It's kind of confusing, but you'll start to understand it once the game comes out. You also have the option to play offline if you truly want to and play with driver tires instead of real people. That's also very handy for people who may not actually have Xbox Live Gold, who actually can't play online or just don't have a good internet connection. So worst case scenario, you are able to play with driver tires and I believe that you're able to choose if you want to play with driver tires, so that's kind of a nice little feature if you can't play online or just don't want to. While you're in free roam, drive around the map, driving around with other players or with your friends, there will be a new Forza-thon event every hour on the hour, which could basically be danger signs, drift zones, speed cameras, just different things like that. Now, everybody in the world will be able to compete with this Forza-thon challenge. Again, you'll only be able to see up to 12 different people, but either way, all 72 people will be able to compete in this Forza-thon event, and if all of you reach a combined total goal of whatever the goal is, say, in total, you have to jump a thousand feet once everybody jumps all the totals will be added up and if you pass a thousand you'll basically be able to get force thon currency which you can use in a force thon shop which i would imagine you can get things like special cars special things for your character to wear special emotes just different things like that now moving on into my personal opinion do i think forza horizon 4 will truly be worth it and do i think should you drop $100 on the game, or $80, or $60 on the game? Now, I believe that whatever you're able to do with your budget, just do what you can. If you were able to get the most expensive one, get the most expensive one. If you're only able to get the cheapest one, get the cheapest one. But if you truly have the option, I would 100% go with the Ultimate Edition, which is the $100 version. I just feel like you'll be able to get so much more with the game, just because you'll be able to get all the map expansions, you'll be able to get all the car packs, you'll basically be able to get everything without having to worry about buying anything extra. You'll just be able to get it down 
download it. Plus, you'll be able to get a lot more things that the other two editions are not able to get. Also, if you pre-order the Ultimate Edition, you'll be able to play four days early before the game drops on October 2nd, which I believe is absolutely amazing. But I think that they're bringing a lot of new stuff into the Horizon series, and I'm very excited to see what they have to bring within the next year or two. Now, just a couple little side notes. I'm currently running a Forza Horizon 4 giveaway, which is going to be ending here in a few weeks. So if you're not able to get the game and you want to have a chance of being able to get the game for completely free, click the link in the top of the description. There's multiple things that you can do for extra entries, and I highly suggest you do that. Now, I think this giveaway only has like less than a few weeks left, so I would highly suggest you get that done before it ends, because once it ends, it's going to suck, and you'll be like, oh, I could have gotten the game free, and you didn't enter, so enter that. Like I said, link in the very top of the description, so go do that real quick. It'll be very quick, very simple. Also, if you didn't know who I am and you're new to the channel, I live stream Forza Horizon every single day at about 5 p.m. Central Standard Time. I play with you guys. We do open lobbies. Recently, I've been doing a Versus series where I'll put two manufacturers up against each other like Chevy versus Ford or Lamborghini versus Ferrari. Things like that. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, I would highly suggest you tune into my live streams. Like I said, 5 p.m. Central Standard Time every single day. Figure out what time that is for you. And as soon as Forza Horizon 4 drops, I will be live streaming that every single day as well. So if you want to check out the live streams, just check around my channel, subscribe, make sure you have post notifications on. That way you will know as soon as I go live. That way you can join in the live streams. And you might want to be early in the streams because if you want to play with me, you have to get in the stream early because sometimes my lobbies will fill up super quick. I actually wanted to bring another YouTuber in on this as well and get his opinion on things. But if you guys want to see that and want to see some different content um, from me and a couple other bigger Forza YouTubers in the community. If you guys like the video, please leave a like. Let's try and shoot for 30 likes. Also, we are very close to 3,000 subscribers, and that's that's amazing in itself. So let me know. Do you guys think Forza Horizon 4 is truly worth it? Is there things that you don't like about the game? Is there things that you're really excited for about the game? Let me know down in the comments below. As for now, my name is Sonic Lance. Just keep pushing forward. I'll see you guys in the live streams. Goodbye!